Alright guys, now in this video I want to show you how to make a point attractor in Ed. So to just get all the liquid or you know some of the liquid uh, go towards the point. Apply like a custom force is gonna push it towards the point. So you see that right now we have the uh, some liquid at the bottom of this pool. Um, I just have this as an initial frame. Uh, here I have set it up as um, this cache construction, so it starts in the beginning. Otherwise, that's how the thing looked like. I'll just have something to set up my initial thing, and then from then on, we're going to start just from this uh, frame that's somewhere here. So, um, the way we're going to do it is that we're going to take the positions of the particles from the body and we're going to convert them to a field, uh, and then we are going to do a vector operation with a position of the force that is somewhere. It's vector subtraction, it gives you a vector between uh, a particle's position and the position of the force, uh, of the source, and then we're going to ap ap apply a force that is going to be having that field as a, as a field of force, and it's going to uh, accelerate them you know, towards that specific point. So first I'm going to make the point, obviously, just going to create a box, like a small one. So this is going to be our center. Just going to place this somewhere, like let's say there, and it goes the roof. So we have the center now. Uh, now the next thing we need is to take the positions of the particles and um, turn them into a field. So if I just go to the to the beginning and just solve one thing, you're gonna see that if I look in the body here, I have the particle position here, which is something that I need, but I need to convert it to a field just because the acceleration node here not this field. So it's uh, a cool node that can do this, it's called particle field, or it's called field particle splat. So what it, what it does is that it takes a, um, a particle body and it gets a position, um, it gets generation from particles and it splats that, you know, kind of projects it on field. So let's say we have the position channel and we need to send the body to it, but um, the problem is if I get it from here, you see that I have two bodies here, just going to get it from the particle liquid. So that's uh, the field there. And now I'm going to need a vector position. Uh, vector operation, uh, pretty much I'm going to need to subtract um, from the position of these guys to the position of this guy. Now, yeah, uh, it depends on whether I want my force to be positive or not. So, to do a vector, a vector operation on this stuff, I will need a field net. Field nail. So, the field nail is allowing me to um, put, it, put inside two fields and do an operation between them. So um, this is going to be cool with the A operator, but I need to get the position of this guy. So the way I do this is I take a field constant vector as the B, and now to pick up the position of um, the center over here, I can just write an expression, and the expression would be addressing the um, translate parameter uh, over here. So the way the null stuff is working is that you uh, write uh, the end uh, symbol just for to indicate that you uh, or that you're gonna uh, access a node and you write the qualified name. So first the name of the node, center, and then the name of the property. So then I'm going to copy this in the other um, in the other fields uh, just for the fill up all the axes, and you see that I don't need to write these uh, square bracket stuff. I don't need to access specific components uh, access component there just because that kind of presumes that if I don't have anything 
uh, there in the, uh, like in the identifying a component, it's going to fill up the light one. And you can see here that it kind of points already to that. So um, this should be working. And then, um, so uh, the problem is that this is going to give me like a different strength um, for each. So um, it would be more controllable, like if I want to assign a kind of uniform force on all of them, I should be um, giving a, I should be using a normalized vector, like just, you know, to get a, a one size vector everywhere. So let's do the operation now. So uh, we said I need a normalized vector, so like norm, and then I will need to subtract uh, this guy from this guy. So again, in NL uh, to access the inputs, you write colon then a in uh, quotation marks. So a minus b, and again I don't need to write uh, to specify components. This should work. So then. This acceleration here is my gravity. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to make a new one. Put it between the then and this. That, so I'm just going to set that field over here. Uh, I often zigzag my nose like this just because this way it's quite easy to see um, the older bodies inside there. Okay, so. I think that should be working. So let's save and reset and try to see how it's going to look. Also, it says that it doesn't find both position. Actually, right click here and I can say. Um, choose, so this should work. Obviously, it's not working in the context at the moment. Uh, and it also says uh, it has the wrong uh, type. Obviously, it's a vector. So I can set it up as a float. Um, now, uh, you, can, you can see here that I do have something happening, but um, I mean, uh, I still have, actually, this, all this, the whole thing here, um, it is multiplying, but since I here have only the normalized stuff, uh, which is uh, with force 1, I need to add something which is going to set up the, which is going to give the strength of the force. This is uh, easy with the field multiply. So I'm gonna write some new. So with the field multiply, I'm gonna actually no field multiply multiplies two fields. I'm, I need only to scale it. I need and don't to multiply it with a constant. So I'm just gonna use the field scale. So if you scale, I can just say, okay, let's add ten on each axis. Let's start again. But I think 10 is um, kind of repulsive in there. So let's try with minus 10. Or the same effect, I would get the same effect if in the field nil I get, um, I reverse this, it becomes B minus. You can see already our particles are moving towards the point. In a uniform way, I think the speed is too much there. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can see that they are moving there. If I now move that point somewhere else,
and I continue. We are going to see it after the delay. We are going to start getting towards this one. So that's the way to like, make your particles um, get attracted to a point. Cool. Now in the next one, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but in a bit more interesting way with the surface actually of an object.